um, I was, I, I didn't get the business straight away. I was, uh, I had some health challenges. In fact, I used to work in IT for many, many years. Um, so uh, it sounded very sexy, wanting to work in the IT world, working with computers, all that sort of thing. Problem, though, is it's very stressful. I was working long, long hours. I was working an extra 40 or 50 hours a month. Um, and basically selling my time for money. And, as, and I realized that as long as you sell your time for money, you've actually got a problem because we don't know how many t hours we have on this planet. So why would we go and give them to an employer? Why would we give them to somebody else? The real challenge was that, that I was getting sick. Um, in fact, I got so sick that I had internal bleeding. I had lots of diarrhea. I had serious problems. And I went to the doctor and the doctor said, well, you've got something called ulcerative colitis. So um, I didn't know what that was. Trust me, if you haven't had it, you don't need it. It's not that good. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, the, the, the challenge was the doctor said, take some pills. Uh, if it gets worse, we'll give you steroids. If it gets really bad, we'll cure you. I said, well, can I have the cure, please? So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut your colon out and we'll give you a bag. It's called a colostomy. So I just said, is there something else? You know, I, can, can we have, can we do something else? Anyway. Long story short, I, I was terrified. I was frustrated. Um, I was sleeping in my car at lunch times uh, because of fatigue, depression, uh, loss of blood, all sorts of things. And trust me, you know, you don't appreciate your health until you lose it. And and this is up until that point, And I always joke about this. I'm a South African man. As far as I was concerned, I was bulletproof until the age of 32. Okay, and then at 35, things got really tough. So I've had a lot of life lessons. But what I can tell you for sure is that if, if I hadn't been introduced to these products, you know, after about a month I started to feel different. And it's three years later now and I'm a very different guy for many of the reasons, not just the nutrition. But the fact remains is people don't know enough about nutrition. They don't know enough about being proactive and keeping themselves well because we're constantly eating foods that are not necessarily great for us. We're eating things out of a packet, highly processed stuff. And so I'm just going to go through some of that with you quickly. <coughs> See if I can balance the microphone and the pen. <laughs> okay, um, so basically what I'm going to show you is something that, that I learned. It's very simple stuff, but I didn't know any of this stuff when I first started. And, and frankly, it's, it's really the crux. Everybody should know this. And that's what makes GNLD a, a fantastic opportunity. Because if everybody can understand that <clears throat> they can eat slightly differently and they can change the way they feel, then everyone can enjoy life a lot better. Um, you know, I just see a show of hands. If I mention the things like uh, chronic diseases, uh, diabetes, uh, cancer, cardiovascular disease, um, respiratory disease or stroke, anybody know anybody who's had one of those, one of those afflictions? Anybody? Well, everybody in the room, I would imagine, would know somebody who's had that or had that experience. And the challenge is, I believe, that people can, can prevent, be preventative. They can do more about preventing that sort of thing happen by eating the right kinds of foods. What we want to do, and I trust everyone can see this, is this legible? Yep. Okay, this is what's called a wellness pyramid or a food pyramid. doesn't matter what country you go to. Most countries have some sort of um, uh, f uh, food pyramid. And, and what we believe is that you should have lots of whole grains. I'll just write the word whole. Then lots of fruit and vegetables. Uh, then protein and fats and sugars. And I'll just cover this very quickly because uh, the, uh, the most important thing is to get the experience out of the way and then really hear what uh, Dr. Coma has come to talk to us about today. But this is very uh, key information, and that is getting lots of whole grains. And of course, down the bottom here should be exercise. Um, I didn't really appreciate the value of exercise, but you know what? These bodies were designed to move. Um, they were not designed to sit around and watch television and do all sorts of other things. The body actually needs us to generate uh, energy and whatnot. So we need to do exercise. And then whole grains. Um, whole grains uh, come from sources like rice, soy, and wheat. And we really need that. And I'll show you a little bit now. now. Uh, but whole grains are important to the way our cells function. Fruit and vegetables. This is the product that Drew was talking to me about. This is something called carotenoids. And carotenoids will raise your immune system by 44% in 21 days. Raise your killer T-cell count, which is the body's ability to fight um, uh, flus and bacteria and diseases by 21% in 21 days. This is clinical journals. This is this is tested stuff, you know. So very important. And of course, proteins. I didn't realize. I didn't really think about it. But mass-produced meats, things that are full of steroids and antibiotics and all those sort of things, are actually not that great for us. So we need to find a good protein source. And then, <clears throat> obviously, fats and sugars at the bottom. 
The challenge is, nowadays, the pyramid looks like this. I think most of you can agree that, unfortunately, most people get too many fats and sugars. Diabetes is on the rise. They say it's going to grow by 100% in the next 15 years. I mean, if that was a money market, that sounds like a good bet to me. But, but the fact is, that's people's health we're talking about. Um, the next thing is the wrong kinds of proteins. Um, then uh, fruit and vegetables. They say strive for five. I believe people should be eating up to 14 servings of fruit and vegetable a day. And they need to get the right kind of fruit and vegetables, not ones that are full of herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, all that sort of thing. So it's really keen that people can learn through GNLD about the kinds of good nutrition. Um, and then lastly, whole grains. Now, whole grains are incredibly important. And this is the key factor for me in terms of nutrition. This is the basis of GNLD's nutrition, is that we have something like... 73 trillion cells, it really depends on which doctor you speak to or which country you're in, but we have a lot. And the, the fact is that we need, when we eat food, nutrition isn't just something that we put in our mouths, but it's in actual fact what gets into our cells. And if our cells are functioning properly, then perhaps we might have some more energy. Or perhaps our body might be able to pr make more cells and therefore make a better person, better, better fill. And moreover, that we're able to release hormones. Hormones can be insulin, or just the way we feel, both men and women. And we need the nutrients of the food that we eating to get into the cell. And more importantly, we want the waste to get out. If we're, eating the wrong, if we're not eating the right kinds of fats, the right kinds of things like whole grains, um, then this cell wall becomes hardened. From, from taking in the wrong kinds of oils because your body will use whatever it can get. But if we're eating the wrong kinds of foods over time, I think most people agree, people don't get sick as very early on in life. It's normally in the 30s and 40s and 50s that people develop problems. And that's because we actually have to be consistently bad to our body, to our body to actually, <clears throat> excuse me, not respond that well. So what we want to do is we want to avoid this because what happens, the waste can't get in, the waste can't get out, and the nutrients can't get in. And so we develop, I'll draw a cell that's probably not, not that well, but you get the point. You don't even have to be an artist in this business. <laughs> yeah, anyone can draw this stuff. All right, so the, the idea is that we want a cell to look like that, or something like that, but you get the idea that the food gets in. And this is very key for me because when I was, you know, when I was really, really in bad inflammation, I, I was fearful for my own well-being. And my wife and I were looking to find out what else can we do. And until we really realize that we can be more proactive and then with that information we can help more people, you know, that's, that was a turning point for us. So there's lots to learn about, uh, about nutrition and all that sort of thing. But um, I, I'm going to leave it there. Um, what I think is very important to, to uh, recognize is the kind of growth that everyone has to is associated with GNLD. Um, not just on the nutrition side, but associating yourself with successful-minded people, people who are um, who have a, a similar agenda to you, and aren't just prepared just to sit on their bums and maybe complain about the way life is treating them. Life is your opportunity to do what you want with it. It's no one else's fault. It's your opportunity to have the best possible time of it. So I got to, I got, I was lucky enough to befriend a guy who's been in, very instrumental in my own personal personal growth. Uh, we're having great fun. We've got huge plans here in the United Kingdom. Uh, I'm out working in Ireland. We're embarking today. I mean, f this is this is just amazing. There's so many people in the room today embarking. And a lot of that goes to thanks of the next speaker. His name is Andrew McDermott. I'm very proud to call him my friend. And he's going to go through the business presentation. Thank you.